If you are researching any topic in education, the database ERIC is a great place to start. It is a free, web-based index published by the U.S. Department of Education. You can find ERIC from the NWU Library website by clicking the Databases button and navigating to it on the alphabetical list. It's good to start by searching on a few free text keywords. Choose one to two key concepts from your research question to search on. For example, the problem you're trying to solve and the intervention. I'm going to search on the phrase, special needs students develop social skills. It is best not to limit only to articles that are available in full text on ERIC. I will show you why later. Here's my initial list of results. From here, you can refine your search further. For example, you might want to use the filters on the left to limit by publication type or education level. Once you have the filter set the way you would like, browse the results to see if something looks promising. Before clicking through to the articles, make a note of the descriptors used for the articles that you found. This can give you ideas for other search terms to try. Here, the descriptors interpersonal competence and skill development seem promising. For my example, I am most interested in the second and third articles listed here. Note that one of them is a study of students of color and one is a study that took place in Australia. Even though the populations studied don't exactly match my own student population, I still think these studies could be helpful. So it's good I didn't limit my initial search to a specific population, or I might have inadvertently eliminated those articles from my results. I want to see the full text for the third article, so I will click on Direct Link. It's important to realize what happens when I do this. Even though ERIC is on the library's list of databases, it has no connection to the library's collections. The link is going to take me out to a place on the web that may have this article. It is not taking me back to Nebraska Wesleyan's library site. What happens next is something you may encounter often when using ERIC. The link took me to the publisher's website for the journal that contains this article. However, this publisher is not going to let me view this article for free. If Nebraska Wesleyan's library has this article, I can access it at no cost to me because I am affiliated with the library, as are all Nebraska Wesleyan students, faculty, and staff. So I would like to check on this option. To do so, I will note the name of the journal the article was published in. From there, I will go back to the Nebraska Wesleyan Library website and click the Journals button. Then I'll search for the name of the journal to see if Nebraska Wesleyan has it. And we do. I can get the full text of the article by following the link here and then navigating to the list of articles in the July 2015 issue. If Nebraska Wesleyan didn't have this article, I could also have requested it through interlibrary loan, again at no cost to me. Using this process will help you get the most out of ERIC. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please call or email the library.